everyone. Uh, Sherry here from Turquoise Dreaming. I'm excited today. I've got two subscribers. Woo! I um, haven't been doing videos too long and haven't had my YouTube channel very long, so, um, you know, it's exciting. And I'm here today to uh, just show this new little journal. It's kind of a mini journal, a uh, mini junk journal that I made. And it, uh, I've been challenging myself, I mentioned it in my last video, to use uh, a bunch of my scraps. I put a pile on my desk and just use them in some way, one way or the other, making e ephemera or a journal or whatever, because I've got too much. It's getting overwhelming, so I need to use it. So this is a little mini journal. It turned out really cute. Um, it's got notebook ring binding and it's got this little uh, label I put on the attached to the uh, ring here. It's, um, it says happy and it is uh, attached with a pin and a little um, button I have on here. So we'll just get started with a um, flip through. This is not in my Etsy shop yet, but it will be hopefully tonight, but if not tonight, in the next couple of days. This says just because, and these are mostly all my scraps, like I said, made into pages. This would be a great Instax, Instax um, photo album and journal. Um, there's plenty of blank space for journaling and putting in pictures or Mementos. There's a little tag in a tuck spot. Um, tux. That's a tuck spot. Let me see. Yeah, there's a tuck spot there. There's a little tiny tuck spot made from a piece of a doily here, and a little tag. A uh, tuck spot over here with another piece of a doily. There's a lot of different types of paper in here. This is like from a a calendar type uh, journal diary. This is cardstock. Here's a sticker. Botanical flowers. This is a flip out. Some lined paper. <clears throat> I just used, like I said, I was using all my scraps. Here's some little like arrow I made here and a piece of doily. Here's a doily I made into a tuck spot. There's some book pages, tuck spot here, that pretty, um, this is a strawberry plant with a dragonfly stamp. Another doily tuck spot and scraps, as you can see, you can journal on that or do whatever anyone would want to do. This is a tuck spot, I have a little button here. And I'll just keep flipping through. Tuck spot with some. This came from a uh, vintage sketchbook or scrapbook, actually. Uh, flip out. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm just going to flip through as quick as I can. Uh, graph paper. This is from that um, calendar, like diary, this book right here. This is the cover. And I thought the inside of it, this was inside the cover, and I thought it just really was pretty. It looked like, like scrapbook paper, but it's uh, actually sturdy, like cardstock. So it made a good page. And it had a kind of a neat border on it. This is a um, lined paper, and this is from a memo pad. It was one of those. Uh, vertical memo pads it has a cover like a matchbook style cover with a you know it's wrapped around and it flips over but this is a flip over and it had some gems on it and I just like the color so made a tuck spot with it and we'll keep flipping through this is a tuck spot this says just because This is a, I made a little, like a little handle here on the flip out. Try to keep my hands out of the way. Curious George 
vintage Curry's George uh, book page. Some um, old stationery. That's pretty. Flip out. I've got a lot of um, a lot of goodies throughout this whole thing, and so it makes it really interesting. Doily. Uh, this is another piece of that cover. Got a tuck spot here with a library card. Tuck spot here. This is a little piece of a little box I had from J from uh, Ch China. It has some Chinese there with some botanical flowers. Made it into a tuck spot. Vintage book pages. Here's a tab made from that same uh, diary. This is a piece of that memo, a matchbook um, memo book I was talking about. It's, it was just so pretty. I wanted to make a page out of it. And I had kept it, so it was in my in my scrap pile. This is some um, a tuck spot with some of my scraps, and I put in here a. I made a flip up on this um, playing card. I like the back of it. I thought it was pretty and just wanted to make something out of that. Put in here to have fun with. And this is just some more pages that I got from my scraps, my scrap pile. As you can see, I have all uh, forms um, and sizes of scraps. And I, this is an envelope. I've got it opens two ways this way and from the top. And I've got some paper in there. And this is a little um, kind of like a closure for the envelope from that diary again. Scrapbook paper, um, ledger paper. About more of that memo book. This is a belly band, just because it says here on a little piece of paper. I like to do some stamping and stickers and uh, hello, it says here with a old fashioned telephone, double sided scrapbook paper there. I keep pushing my book over I think. This says hello. Some of that vintage um, scrapbook. Another, oh, this says meow, and that's a fish bones. It's one of my favorite things. Uh, fish bones, and this is a tab. There's another envelope. This says take note. That's a rubber stamp. And this one also opens from the side and the top. Um, this is just um, some matte paper that I made into like washi, homemade washi I call it. Tuck spot there and a flip up. Flip up. This is washi tape here. It says good vibes. And getting to the end there's um, 100, uh, about 109 pages in here. Here's a tuck spot, a little tag, and it says just because. This set, this is another envelope. This says contents, and this one also opens from the top and the side. And ledger paper. Oh, this says shine on, and there's a couple of gems there for, kind of goes with the theme on that page. <laughs> little bling. to keep shining on. And almost to the end. I just kept adding and adding and just wanted to use up, you know, my scraps. And, and I thought this turned out really, really cute as far as um, the pages. And there's going to be a lot of room in here for whatever anyone would want to add. So I would deem this journal super chunky or super, super chunky. This is the back. There's a pocket here with a tag that says smile. So that was the back cover, and the back cover is yellow cardstock. 
front cover is a game card front inside and, and outside so um, that's the journal it'll be in my shop soon uh, let me give you the size real quick here it is four it should be four by four yeah about four by four so perfect size for um, small photographs if you have a four by six photo you can cut it down or use your instax or um, wallet size photos I don't have an instax camera so I um, I do um, I take the pictures with my my uh, phone and then just um, upload them to whatever photo site I want to use for my printing my photos and just uh, I just got a, a large stack of um, I'll show you from Walmart I got a large stack of um, of wallet size you can see came out really cute I got a bunch actually I got one for me and one to share but you can see they would fit really cute here in this in this if you get them let's see if I have any um, vertical here's a vertical that would fit perfect there so wallet cut down your 4 by 6s or your instax would fit and then of course your mementos here's a ticket I've got a stack over here I need to put into my um, my own personal journal which I should do a video on sometime and show you how it's going but besides my pictures I wanted to show you a couple of things I picked up this week I found at Dollar Tree a um, couple of bottles or jars actually of buttons uh, one colored there's all different colors in here and one kind of like neutral a lot of black um, navy brown but um, I'll show you my favorite if I can get one out here uh, let's see okay here's here's a couple um, I found these in here I thought they were really cute they actually have some writing on them I thought that was neat um, this one says it says 19 let's see if I can see it here 1963 um, Camp David <laughs> so pretty cool little buttons um, for a dollar that whole jar for a dollar at Dollar Tree I was when I saw them I was surprised to see that many buttons for a dollar so I've been looking at them at different places you know craft stores and I think there's some with writing on them in here too I can, here's one <coughs> sorry a uh, green one Woo. it's hard to see because the writing is in green too so I don't know if you'll be able to see it I can barely see it myself and I certainly don't think I can read it but there is some writing on there I don't know I'll hold it up to the camera but anyway if you can't see it just take my word for it there's a few buttons like that with writing on in the colored um, you know, different colors and in the other ones the darker ones so those will be fun and then I was going to show you real quick um, just I took I said at the beginning I took a pile of scraps and so I was going to flip through and show you what I did um, I have a bunch of file folders so I printed printed words and cut them out and made little um, just little tags different shaped tags which you saw some in there in my journal here's a tag I made a bunch of these um, to put in journals they're like a little corner tuck spot with um, one of the tags and this says take note so I made a bunch of those for future journals see um, actually the tuck spot is actually here's another one but it's actually a tuck spot with a flip up. So those were I thought those were cute and used up a bunch of my scraps there. This is a little kind of just a little fun. It's kind of like an envelope or a flip up, a flip out, graph tag tag. It's a little envelope and I already put some um I put a tag in here. I did some, I made the envelope out of notebook, it's notebook paper.
tag out of a piece of manila folder and I put some, I actually kind of put a border on here with um, some aging and some stamping tag just because. Um, this is a kind of like a memo pad. I had a strip of scrapbook paper and a bunch of this line paper. I had trouble finding things to do with all the line paper. I had this pile that I pulled out. Had, so I made some of these little memo pads. This pile had a bunch of lined paper and I was just really challenged to find something to do with it. But these are um, some kind of like, like collage type tags. I did some scrapbook paper, just whatever papers I had. There's a sticker, there's some stamping, there's a piece of doily on uh, over a book page on this one, a sticker. But they turned out really cute. Um, this is a piece of lined paper over. This is actually a piece of a paper bag, a book page, some little sticky, what are these called? Um, these are called, where are they? Anyway, um, they, they say stickers on them, but anyway, they're like little half beads. And yeah, they're all, yeah, they're all double done on both sides. So these are going to be in future journals. This is embroidery floss, book page, piece of that paper bag, uh, stamp, graph paper, sticker, piece of a map. Okay, that's. Then I made a bunch of these. I thought I like this paper. These were scraps just like this. Um, I like the lines with the dots here, and I type just um, stamp just because on top of each one. I just thought they were cute, just like that. To stick in a, a tuck spot somewhere in one of my journals. And then the last pile here is just, well, there's, this is just a pile I decided to leave as is that I will use in future journals. I, you know, probably just um, put those in like that because I like a lot of lined and blank pages. I use my strips as the homemade washi, and these will be pockets that I'll use. Uh, in the future. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and thanks for uh, watching my flip through and if anyone has seen my other videos I appreciate um, anyone watching and uh, giving me a thumbs up and just um, my two subscribers. Woo! So thank you and have a good night and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.